Well, hello, friends. I hope you are having a wonderful day today. Uh, I'm just going to jump right into this based on title of video and whatnot. Um, full disclaimer, this is not going to be one of my most uplifting videos to date. Uh, but I felt like I, need, I needed to express a lot of feelings um, at the moment just so I don't keep them bottled up inside and, and make things worse. Um, so if you've been following me, uh, welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm sorry this is the first video you, you have to watch. Maybe you should go watch a few of my others first and then come back and watch this one because this is not normally who I am or what I'm about. Uh, but for those of you who are in the know, uh, maybe you, you'll understand a little bit more. Um, so yes, I am having brain surgery in a week. Uh, that is actually a week from tomorrow. So next Wednesday is my scheduled surgery date. Monday, I have my pre-op appointments. So MRI, CT, blood work, you know, all the boring stuff. <laughs> I guess, uh, is Monday, and then Wednesday is my actual brain surgery. And then two weeks from that date, so I believe it's the 29th, um, is the second surgery, and that's when they implant the device in my chest. Uh, so if you didn't know, I'm having deep brain stimulation, which is when they implant two electrodes, well, in my case it's two, because it's both sides, uh, in your brain, and that is to help control tremors. I have essential tremor, um, and I know that a lot of people have already noticed that it's getting worse, and it's to the point where it's affecting my everyday life, and um, so I've passed all the preliminary tests, and you know I've tried all the medications in the in the past, and not, none of that works. Um, so they have cleared me to go ahead with the procedure. I'm still. Uh, hasn't really sunk in yet. This is actually going to happen. I've known about this procedure for probably 15 years at least um, since it was really in the news um, coming out and it was always in the back of my head that you know maybe that was a possibility. Uh, but I always thought that you know I wasn't bad enough yet to have the procedure. I always you know thought of people who couldn't do much of anything on their own, couldn't feed themselves, couldn't you know, dress themselves, couldn't do a lot of things that I still am able to do. Um, I thought that was the point where they would actually consider you for the surgery. Uh, but I realized that everybody has their own threshold, you know, of, of what they can handle. And just because I might not be as bad as the next person doesn't mean that it's not bad enough for me you know, to, to have the procedure. Like I do um, art, you know, I, I've done woodworking, I, uh, photography, I've started doing modeling. Um, and anytime I do any fine motor skills, phew, it's rough. I, I struggle. There are techniques that I've learned throughout the years that I can used to help steady my hand, but forget about any detailed work. You know, I'm painting this um, massive thing right here. Uh, and it's, it's bricks, it's individual bricks. Um, and just last night I was trying to go through and it was, it was, it was, it was rough. Um, so I'm really excited to just not shake so much. Now they say that it's not 100%. Right, you know, I won't be a hundred percent. I won't be like somebody who's who doesn't shake at all and has never in their life. Uh, I think I told my mom, yeah, I'm still not going to be able to be a living mannequin. <laughs> but they do shoot for eighty-five percent um, improvement, and that's incredible. Uh, that that's that's a big big jump. And if I can grab my coffee out of you know the microwave or you know, off the stove without fear of scalding myself. That's a win for me. Um, so yeah, that's that's next week. And uh, I was planning on, you know, doing short-term disability uh, through my employer. 
which brings me to um, the second part of this video, and that is labor laws and or the lack thereof here in the United States. I'm no longer employed. I was just laid off. I don't know what time is it, one o'clock? Uh, five hours ago. First thing in the morning, I get in. One of my managers asked me to call her, so I did, and that was the news that she gave me. Um, no warning whatsoever. Uh, just, well, you don't have to work the rest of the day. You're going to get paid for the day, but you're done. Shut off all my access to everything immediately. Emails, spreadsheets, websites, done. Just like that. And I'm really, really getting tired of being treated like a number um, here in this country. Nobody cares about people, um, about workers. You know, if, if you're making them money, good. Uh, but you don't care. And I'm really trying to get my thoughts together here because my, I'm, I'm still in a state of shock um, because I had no idea. Yesterday was fine. Yesterday, my, my lead and I had a good conversation. I'm leading a lot of training. Out the window. Done. I actually just texted one of my coworkers just to you know tell him it was a pleasure working with him, kind of to, because obviously nobody's going to tell me who else got laid off because it was for downsizing purposes, you know, and I'm tired of people acting like you're an idiot. You know, I, I've been in the HR game long enough to know a canned response. And that's definitely a canned response. Granted, the client that I worked for downsized. Um, there was an incident in California, which caused the state to, to shut them down for a bit, which, you know, understandably, they're like, we have all these people that aren't working now because we can't do what they're supposed to do. So we had to cut half of them. Um, so granted, the client that I'm working for was downsized, but we were told, you guys don't have to worry about it. We'll just find another client for you to work with. I guess that was just a load of BS because there was no chatter, no no talks, no negotiations, no, hey, what else can I do for this company? I don't have to work for this client. I could do something else for this company and stay on board. Nothing, nothing. Just a call this morning saying you're done. I'm so tired of it. I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, this is a week before brain surgery. Now, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I also don't believe in coincidences either. And unfortunately because I've thought of this, of, you know, possibly getting in touch with a lawyer and saying, look, here, a week before I'm scheduled to have brain surgery and be out for three weeks, I get let go. Um, seems a little suspicious. However, I can't prove that. They didn't egregiously, um, you know, do anything like racism or sexism or, you know, it wasn't blatant like that. So I would have a hard time proving that in court. Um, and Arizona is a right to work state, meaning any employer can and will and does let people go for absolutely no reason. Just, you know what? I don't like you, so you're fired. And you can't say or do anything about it. Again, unless there's some blatant act of racism or sexism, you know, or that goes against the Equal Opportunity Act. So I think that's just a, a dead end. And do I want to go through the hassle and the, the cost of doing all of that? No, I don't. Um, so I have no idea what we're going to do. You know, I wish, I wish we could just pack up and leave today. You know, we're still planning on going to Germany in the summer of 2025. Why can't it be the summer of 2025 right now? Because I'm, I, oh, but I get three weeks of severance pay. I mean, it's better than nothing. But thankfully, I go through the VA for medical, so I'm not losing insurance. Um, but, you know, 
in the, the state that this country's in politically right now as well, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I hate to say it, but I'm ready to throw in the towel. I've, I've had it. I don't, I don't, I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to say. Um, but I haven't even told my wife yet. She's at work. Uh, I didn't want to ruin her day. So I'll wait until she gets home. Um, you know, and, and this maybe is a blessing in disguise. I always think and have thought that you know, things do happen for reasons. Um, we may not know that reason right off the bat, right away, but, you know, maybe this is, this is where I need to be right now. I need to get out of the HR game because I don't think I'm the right person because I have a heart, because I care about people. Um, and you can't work for corporations here in the United States and care about people. I don't, it doesn't, they don't mesh. You either play the, the corporate game or you have morals, I feel like. Um, that is a blanket general statement. I know there's exceptions to everything, but in my case, you know, I care about people. And for me to have to let go of 300 contractors, you know, I felt terrible because that was a week before Christmas or a week before Thanksgiving was the first wave. And, and that's... That's just evil, um, you know, if I think about it. It's just evil. Um, and maybe I'll never be a business owner because I, I, I'm not cutthroat. I, I'm not that type of person, you know. Um, but it really hurts the income-wise, obviously, because I was making decent money. And now I got to do it all over again. Who knows, maybe the next opportunity is gonna be the one that's the right fit. Maybe I have to do a few more things before the right fit comes along. Heck, maybe I have time now to concentrate on my YouTube channel and turn this into my full-time gig. I mean, I make okay, I mean, it's not nothing, I can't live off the money I make from YouTube, but it's not, nothing to sneeze at either. Um, so maybe, maybe this is my opportunity. Maybe this is a wake up call. Say, Hey, Nate, you know, stop working for assholes and work for yourself. Cause I can be an asshole to myself and I can't say anything about it. Maybe this is that opportunity. Maybe this is my time to buckle down, concentrate on YouTube videos, learn some more editing skills, you know, gain a larger audience. Um, and maybe this is what I was supposed to do, and it just took this to make me realize it. I have no idea. All I know is I'm still in shock right now because I woke up thinking, you know, I had a week of work and then I was going to be off for surgery for a few weeks. And I wake up and I don't have a job. So maybe I'll, I'll do kind of a vlog style each day I'm unemployed just to bring you along on the journey with me. Uh, because, you know, how much fun that is. Uh, but maybe that'll get me the opportunity to express a lot of things that I've been rolling around in my head. Um, so we'll see. So again, you know, I'm sorry this wasn't the uplifting video of the day. And I really do appreciate all of you for your kind words on my, you know, posts that I've done on my YouTube channel about this upcoming surgery. I really do appreciate it. And I care about all of you and hope, again, that you're having a wonderful day. Uh, I'm, this isn't a pity party. I don't want a lot of pity. You know, I'm a grown-ass man. I can, I can deal with it. But I felt like this is something I needed to get out into the open because it's, it's frustrating. And if you keep that stuff bottled up, it just festers and you'll explode one day and it may not be pretty. So... Thank you for being my ears uh, today and for um, lending me your time. I do appreciate it. And, you know, leave me a comment down below on your thoughts. Um, I mean, I'm, I really don't have a question um, with this video about anything. You know, I know that this doesn't happen in Germany. You don't just get fired for no reason. 
Um, and if you do get let go, there's laws that go along with that. I don't know them all and I could be off base a little bit, but from what I understand, this typically doesn't happen over there. And that's one thing that I really do appreciate. Um, so with that, thank you so much for watching and I do appreciate it. Go ahead and leave me a comment with any words of wisdom because I need them right now. And uh, next video, we'll see. Maybe I'll bring you along on a little painting. I did want to get some footage. Sorry, I keep dragging this on. I wanted to get some footage of me painting. I want more footage of my hands because I, I want to document um, more for my purposes, but I, I feel like other people might benefit. Um, just the before and after, basically, of you know shaking and then hopefully not shaking so much. So maybe I'll do that. Leave a comment if you have any ideas. Um, I appreciate you, and thanks for joining me. And until next video, I'll catch you later. Bye.